For this video, I thought we would take a look at something different. Not only is this a small show and using the Behringer XR18, but it's for a jazz trio. To keep things simple, all the cabling is packed into one case along with some black soft goods to keep things neat looking. Cable management rules still apply. You can see some of the same concepts from larger shows transferred to this much smaller setup. Let's look at some cable management tips. There's a downstage AC stringer which grabs the monitor power and will also provide band power. I'm using a subsnake for the DI and mic lines to keep things as neat as possible. Cable slack goes to the individual mics or wedges. Besides ultimately being neater that way and avoiding a spaghetti mess with every cable slack all ending up at the mixer or snake cable, mics and monitors might need to move when the band arrives. Having the slack at those positions makes that simple. For a small show like this, having powered wedges makes it really simple to run separate mixes from the XR18 to each musician. I'll have to fine tune the positioning and then we'll start the sound check. This is jazz and it's a small venue, so always remember this is sound reinforcement. The drums are fine in this situation without any miking. The bass guitarist, on the other hand, doesn't have an amp, and so he is relying on the sound system and the monitors for his sound. Finally, there are horns and a flute that will be using mics. The band wants the flute mic to double as a speaking mic to talk to the crowd between songs. To add some warmth to the mix, and the lead instruments in particular, I'm adding a hall reverb to the horns and flute. This is a look at my basic reverb settings for that. The EQ isn't too drastic on the channels, as you can see here. These same cable management concepts can be seen on larger stages also. It all transfers, and the neater you can keep the lines on a smaller stage, the easier it is to do it on a larger stage. Once the show is over, pack it all away, and it's time to prep and pack for the next event. I'll upload the XR18 scene to the Patreon page. Here's another video you might want to check out. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.